Leonardo is gearing up to offer its AW149 multi-role medium helicopter for the emerging British military new medium helicopter requirement, following news that the UK Ministry of Defence is to launch a competition to replace the Royal Air Force's ageing fleet of 22 Puma HC2s, which first entered service in January 1972. In the recent Integrated Reviews Defence Command paper, issued on March 22, 2021, the Ministry of Defence laid out plans for investment in a new medium-lift helicopter in the mid-2020s will enable a consolidation of the Army's disparate fleet of medium-lift helicopters from four platform types to one, including the replacement of Puma. The four in-service rotorcraft targeted for retirement are the Puma HC-2, Bell 212s that are operated in Brunei, Bell 412s that fly from RAF Akrotiri in Cyprus, and Airbus helicopters AS-365 Dolphins flown by British Special Forces. While the report labels all of these as being operated by the UK Army, the Pumas and the AB-412s are actually flown by the RAF but funded under Army budget lines. Leonardo Helicopters proposes to manufacture all 149s in the UK at its Yeovil plant to satisfy the NMH requirement. The AW149 was unveiled at the 2006 Farnborough Airshow. Derived from the AW139, the AW149 has a larger fuselage and more powerful engines, resulting in a greater cargo volume and payload carrying ability. On 13 November 2009, the first prototype conducted its first flight from Augusta Westland's Vergi 8 manufacturing facility in northern Italy. On 26 February 2011, the second prototype, the first with production model engines, made its first flight from Vergi 8. Leonardo submitted a version of the AW149, designated TUHP149, as a candidate for the Turkish Utility Helicopter Program for the Turkish Armed Forces. The program sought an initial batch of 109 helicopters worth $4 billion, prospective follow-on orders for subsequent batches may eventually rise to 300 rotorcraft. Military certification for the AW149 was announced by Finn Mechanica at the 2014 Farnborough Airshow. The landing gear can sustain a touchdown with a sink speed of 9.5 meters per second, compared with the 2 meters per second for a civilian helicopter. The AW149 is being marketed as an alternative to the Sikorsky R60 Black Hawk family. Thailand has ordered five AW149 helicopters, and is the first export customer. The Italian Air Force considered it as a search and rescue helicopter, but chose the lighter AW139M instead. In April 2019, Egyptian Navy ordered 24 AW149 with option for 10 more, and first deliveries took place in late 2020. A British-made AW149 multi-role utility helicopter is Leonardo's proposal to replace the UK's aging Puma fleet. It is the latest generation medium battlefield platform, configurable for a wide range of demanding missions in the most severe operational environments, Leonardo Helicopters said in a statement. Leonardo is touting an active AW149 supply chain capable of delivering military off-the-shelf aircraft in less than 24 months, prior to 2025 when the Puma is scheduled to retire. We will be looking to put the 149 front and center into the potential for replacing the Puma, Nick Whitney, managing director of Leonardo Helicopters UK division told Vertical during a media briefing. Leonardo is encouraged by announcements that confirmed plans to replace the Puma and a recapitalization of the medium helicopter fleet, Whitney said. Whitney said domestic production of the new aircraft could be a key decision point in choosing a new medium helicopter. With 7,500 employees in the UK, 3,000 of those at its Yeovil site, Leonardo is well positioned to design, develop, and build helicopters in the UK. The £19,000 AW149 was formally launched in 2006 and was offered to Turkey to meet its utility helicopter program as a fully weaponized multi-mission platform. The first prototype AW149 flew at Vergi 8, Italy, on November 13, 2009, received military certification in 2014 and entered service with the Royal Thai Army in 2016. 
The AW149 has now been ordered by the Egyptian Navy and the type has been designed for a range of missions including troop transport, resupply or external load lift, medical and casualty evacuation, combat search and rescue, special forces operations, close air support, armed escort, command and control and reconnaissance. For the UK new medium helicopter requirement, the AW149 faces competition from the Airbus helicopters H175M and possibly the H225M, as well as from the Lockheed Martin or Sikorsky S-70I Black Hawk and NH Industries NH-90. Whitney says Leonardo is looking to establish a final assembly facility for the AW149 in Yeovil to meet the UK requirement, which would create jobs and activate a UK supply chain and opens up the way for significant export opportunities. To replace its four legacy rotorcraft Leonardo estimates the UK will need from 35 to 40 helicopters, although swapping them out one for one may not be realistic. The export activity on the back of that is the bit that's really exciting, because once we see the UK Minister of Defence taking that asset forward, they become a reference customer for the product, and that's vitally important in the export market, Whitney said, adding that previous successes with AW159 Wildcat, Lynx, and EH101 Merlin, suggests that an aircraft entering UK military service acts as a catalyst for export demand. Leonardo would expand upon its existing Italian AW149 production effort with a new line to build the helicopters for the UK, in preparation for manufacturing at the Yeovil site. The UK are seen as a tier 1 level operator and these countries want to replicate that. If they need aircraft early, we can do that, Whitney said. We could build aircraft in Italy and then finish them in the UK because this is an existing product and the intention will be long term that we build the aircraft fully in the UK, but we can meet very quick delivery timescales should that be necessary.